Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video I'm going to be going over the differences between like a power screwdriver, a standard cordless drill, a hammer drill, and an impact driver. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, first up we've got the power screwdriver. So power screwdrivers, they're great for uh, just like little stuff. Uh, they're not really, you can't really drive a screw into wood. Um, I mean, if you're going to pre-drill all your holes, you can get screws in and out. Uh, just kind of stuff around the house they can be good for. Um, so this is as far as a power screwdriver like this. This is a 3.6 volt uh, American tool exchange. It's just kind of a cheap one, I think. Uh, this is as far as it'll drive a screw uh, into a 2x4. Now, that didn't get very far, it got about halfway, and that was a pretty short screw. But that doesn't mean it's bad. They're good for what they're good for, which is small stuff. Because the thing about this, uh, if you drive too hard, it's not really going to break much. Um, you could break some plastic with them, but uh, you wouldn't be worried about like breaking metal or stripping stuff out uh, like you would with one of these. Okay, so now uh, here we have just... In, well, this is a hammer drill, but I'm demonstrating it in its drill mode. Just uh, so this will be a standard cordless drill. Now, what they're good for? They're good for like tons of stuff. You know, you can drill with them. Um, you can drill into concrete. You can drive screws with them. You can do a lot of stuff with them. Um, and they can uh, drive screws into wood. It's not really that hard for them. Uh, the one thing, though, is um, with a, let me just show you how far it gets. So that drove it right in, pretty good. Uh, the thing with the, one of these, all it's doing is it's just a motor going through a gearbox, then through the clutch mechanism, and then to the chuck, which turns your screw. Now, that um, is great, but all it's got is the force of the motor. Uh, so if you're going to drill, drive screws. Uh, you've just got that motor turning in it. Um, now, a hammer drill, on the other hand, if you're going to like drill through concrete, the, you want a hammer drill for that. Now what it does, is when you're drilling, uh, so your, your motor is turning, turning the bit, and then it's also hitting it from behind. So it's kind of breaking away uh, through the concrete, or brick, or whatever. Um, now don't get that confused with an impact driver. I got that confused. So I thought, hey, here's a hammer drill. It's got hammer drill on it. So I'll get that and then I'll have an impact driver and a drill. It's not like that. So what an impact driver does, which is totally different, is as it's uh, driving, it's uh, hit, like hitting from the side. So it's turning the screw. So it's like, um, it's like a wrench, you know, if you're trying to get a bolt off, you're going to be if it's on there really tight, you might hit it with a hammer. Uh, you're not going to hit it onto the bolt. <laughs> so, now impact drivers, they are like pretty much the best thing you can get for driving the screws. Uh, you can use them as impact wrenches as well. Uh, the, the difference in like their chuck, this can fit any like drill bit. This only fits the little um, hex bits, uh, which makes it smaller and easier to use, but it doesn't, won't work with as much stuff. Uh, so here's the impact driver, and um, it's really fast, um, the motor, and it could drive this screw all the way through the wood if I wanted to, easy. Um, and the impact mechanism you're hearing, that's um, it impacting. So if you're going to get something, I just want you to know what you're getting. So power screwdriver great for around the house stuff. Uh, cordless drill, kind of the same, can do a little more. Um, hammer drill, dr for drilling through concrete and brick. Um, impact driver, for driving lots of screws and anything like that needs high torque. So that's about it for now. Uh, I'm going to have some action shots of these uh, at the end of this video.
should have got a better bit holder to get it started. There we go. But that's it for now. I will see you all in the next video.